So let's talk about really quickly. I'm Jessica Marshall, uh, CEO, founder of Naturally Beautiful Hair Care, Microlock Mastery. And I coined Microlocks out of Brooklyn in 2009 to per, to really encompass this, this, I don't want to use the word alternative, but this enhanced option to what was existing, which at that time was sister locks. And I was very inspired, but there was just a lot of um, innovation that I, I believe could happen to enhance it that made you go out of the box of sister locks. So um, with the help of my mentor, who was also a former sister loctician trained directly by Joanne Cornwell herself, we worked to continue to develop on innovation, incorporating different tools, um, adjusting size, adjusting technique, adjusting rotation, every single thing that we felt needed to be enhanced so that the locks were strong and did not have the problems that were happening before. So she didn't call it micro locks. I called it micro locks. And she said, you know what? <laughs> she retired herself out of doing locks after a while. And I took on growing, continuing to grow and created my own hair tool in 2013 and just really took on branding micro locks. She was really supportive of it. Was um, The intention was always to provide these options. When women have broken locks, women, there was no lock reattachment that was in the sister lock company at the time. Um, they didn't believe in hair, adding hair, fake hair. So I said, how can I figure this out? Because all I see are regular lock extensions, regular lock kind of support. So I paid a lot of money to get trainings that already existed and figured out how to put them on a small scale. So I'm not, I'm speaking from all the sweat and tears I put into at least creating some foundational knowledge and I'm sharing it. So I know sometimes there's a lot of new information um, that's been that's out on the scene, and I'm very transparent. I had to go away to be a single mom for a few years, so I hopped off of YouTube and I hopped off of a lot. And when I came back and tried to really restart and revive my YouTube <laughs> channel that was basically flatlined for years, um, I came back to so many things I had never seen and so many things that were problems before. So I speak from that perspective. Um, so very much in the beginning hands-on of creating this and very much a part of refining and repairing all small locks. Now, if that's some information that you, you like, you appreciate, stay, stay here. If that's not something, you can hop off and it's okay. Um, the second thing I wanted to say also that I'm a licensed social worker. <laughs> so I do incorporate, and I was a formal faculty at Columbia University School of Social Work in New York City. I incorporate a lot of ed knowledge about education and curriculum to build my Michael Lock Mastery Training and Certification Program. And I also take a lot of what I know as a professional um, therapist, I'm acting as a therapist now, currently have therapy clients, and I infuse that into having higher standards of professionalism, client experiences, et cetera. That's a, that's a mouthful, but I think it's important for me to add some context so that um, if there's anyone that didn't understand or who I was or a little bit about my background, maybe to help put things into context on why I speak about the things I speak about. Oh, hi, Natasha. Hey. Hi, Treasure Locks and Tips. Hi, Nicole from Houston. Hey, Nicole. Oh, you always, you always show up. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Natasha, and I appreciate everyone who's watching now. And everyone who's liked the video so far to kick into the algorithm so that this this information can go out because there are people that are looking for this. And if you are in the category of professional who really values high quality work and really stands, for, you, have, you know, you have a um, experience that makes this information click for you. It is good to push this information out so that people can start being really discerning and valuing your skills even more. This is one thing to say, I don't do what everyone else is asking for. It's people to be like, oh, well, that she doesn't do. Instead, it's seen as, oh, that person, that professional doesn't do what everyone is asking for. And I like that because they know something about the locking process that they are telling me about for my results. And they're maybe um, preventing me from having certain experiences that I would not want. 